The fact that I've been given this universalist vision of the world makes it a possibility that I might be able to contribute just fractionally towards the healing of a planet that's torn to pieces at the moment by strife, by war, by different religions warring with each other. But through the universalist language of music, perhaps there is a possibility to bring about a healing process. And after all, music originally was this function. If one listens or looks at the rituals of the American, Indian or African tribes, one sees that all ritual ceremonies and all music was either addressed to the Creator or it was music of healing in order to help heal. Music in the West has become so sophisticated, so totally sophisticated, that I think we've lost sight of this dimension in music. I can't really say any more than that, except that I think, obviously, any kind of music that is dealing with higher realities, in the end, must go towards a sort of sacred nothingness. So therefore, possibly one day, I shall just stop, to put it in simple terms, metaphysical zero. Not mathematical zero, but metaphysical zero. One's lucky, I think, if one has a talent like I do, because one's intuitive atenae, if one can use such an expression, are possibly more alert and more keen. I know that I'm very um, intuitive, um, and sometimes I know what people are needing to hear in a kind of way. I just feel that the Western tradition, the highly sophisticated, the highly complex ways in which art has gone, has exhausted itself. And we need to sit back and we need to contemplate and we need to meditate a bit more and we need to think about the feminine and we need to go back into the heart, to look at virgin nature. And this is not just a lot of old soppy nonsense that you've heard people saying. I happen to know the Prince of Wales, and many people find it amusing or treat it very cynically when he talks about nature, but I think he's a man of enormous intelligence, and I think that his idea of returning into nature, finding religion within nature, as it were, and within one's heart, after all, this is the basis of all esoteric religions. computers and haven't the faintest idea how to operate them. I think the only thing that I can operate is a CD player and a fax. And when I write music, I always use a pencil because I believe, like with the artist and his brush, there is a relationship between the composer and the pencil. It's a sort of Zen Buddhist kind of thing to say, really, but I, I think that, uh, if you ask any sensitive uh, artists that they will talk about their relationship with their brush, and it is the same with the composer and his pencil. <laughs> 